while the mysterious Predator X dominated the seas with its sharp teeth and massive body, perhaps it would have found a bit of a rival in the Megalodon. The Megalodon is the largest shark that scientists have ever discovered, and it is also one of the largest fish on record. If we compare the teeth of these hulking predators, it's known that the bite on the Predator X was much deadlier than the T-Rex's, but the Megalodon wasn't lacking in the dental department either. Carcharocles Megalodon literally translate into giant tooth, and the Megalodon's teeth could grow to be as big as 7 inches. It would certainly make for an interesting showdown if these two ruling predators of the sea ever decided to fight each other and it would certainly be a battle to remember. The existence of Predator X can be traced back approximately 160 to 145 million years ago, meaning that it lived during the late Jurassic period of the Mesozoic era. Fossils of the mysterious Predator X were discovered in Svalbard, Norway, a string of islands located between Europe and the North Pole. While scientists were unsure if the unearthing of Predator X meant that they had discovered a new species, careful analysis of the creature's bodily structure revealed that Predator X was indeed a previously unknown species. Predator X would then come to be known as the Pliosaurus funke. In contrast, what we know of the Megalodon is that it lived approximately between 10 and 2 million years ago, and it was the largest shark ever recorded. The remains of this prehistoric shark have been found worldwide. Some of the Megalodon's teeth have been found at the coast of England, Denmark, and Germany. And while this is not far away from where the fossils of Predator X were discovered, it's pretty much impossible that the two ever met each other. Not only did they live in different time periods, but the region where Predator X lived would have been covered in water, whereas it may have been a strip of land during the Megalodon's time. But it's still fun to imagine how a fight might have played out between the two of them given their respective predatory traits. It certainly would have been a clash. In terms of size and weight, it is here that the Megalodon has Predator X outclassed. While Predator X's relationship to the Pliosaurus family meant its size was quite big, as its body could reach up to 40 to 50 feet in length, the Megalodon could grow to be as big as 60 to 70 feet. Predator X weighed an impressive 45 tons, and competing with that, the Megalodon was capable of weighing over 60 tons. Predator X was outmatched in terms of size and weight by Megalodon, a species that was three times as long and 20 times as heavy as the great white shark today. Both the Megalodon and Predator X were quite ruthless when hunting their prey. Although the creatures they hunted differed greatly, the paddle-shaped limbs Predator X had enabled them to travel at high speeds chasing down their prey before immobilizing them with their sharp teeth. Frequently hunting their prey in the shallow seas, Predator X typically fed on its long-necked cousins, the Plesiosaurus, as well as fish, squid, and other marine reptiles. While the Predator X primarily hunted lesser prey, the Megalodon made a meal of whales, large fish, and other sharks with its serrated teeth. Its superior size meant it needed a lot of food to sustain itself, and the megalodon's prey may have also included dolphins and humpback whales. When it came to catching their prey, the megalodon and Predator X were not exactly known for showing mercy to the creatures unfortunate enough to become a victim of their brutal bites. Predator X may have found itself in trouble if it ever tangled with the Megalodon, as its jaw could span 9 to 11 feet wide, meaning the Megalodon's wide mouth could swallow two grown adults at the same time. But that's not all Predator X would have to worry about. While Predator X had a 10-foot jaw and teeth that were 12 inches long, 
Its bite was nothing compared to the 276 teeth of the Megalodon that had a bite force of 180,000 newtons. This means any creature that found themselves unfortunate enough to be on the receiving end of the Megalodon's teeth would experience more than just a tiny little nibble into their flesh. With what the Megalodon's teeth could do, any prey that got caught in its teeth was likely not just to be eaten, but torn apart completely. While both predators made use of their oversized bite to immobilize their prey, it is likely that Predator X would have found itself in a bit of trouble if it had ever found itself at the mercy of the Megalodon's teeth. The information we have on the Pleosaurus funke is still incomplete, as it is still a relatively new species, but the conclusion scientists came to was that Predator X had a bite force of around 140,000 newtons. If true, it would be less than the bite force of the Megalodon. More than just sheer bulk and speed, paleontologists believe that Predator X was more intelligent than any other marine reptiles of its time. Still, its smarts might not have been enough of a defense against the Megalodon. We know the Megalodon was not a stupid hunter either, as not only did it know how to take on prey much larger than itself, it knew how to utilize its superior teeth to sufficiently tear the flesh from its prey. But the Megalodon was also smart enough to be diverse in its hunting, and it knew how to strike its prey hard in the side to injure it, a hunting method that Predator X would have to be cautious against. While it has been stated by scientists before that it is likely that Predator X was smarter than the average marine reptile, how well it would have been able to fare against the Megalodon's fierce battle strategies remains uncertain. Both species possessed profound strength in their body size and sharpness of their teeth, but even these terrifying predators were not entirely invincible. Predator X might have still been able to seize an advantage against the Megalodon as its relation to great white sharks means that the Megalodon would have been susceptible to tonic immobility. This occurs when a shark is flipped upside down, freezing them in a trance-like state that can kill them if they remain in it for too long. If Predator X had managed to grab a hold of the Megalodon and hold it upside down, it could easily kill it. But, of course, the Megalodon has Predator X outclassed in terms of size. While the battle would not be over quickly, as both predators had been favored with a foreboding size and teeth sharp enough to rip the flesh of their prey to shreds. The winner would probably be the Megalodon due to its superior size and ruthless nature. Predator X would find itself at a disadvantage due to its slightly smaller mass and size when compared to the bulky nature of the Megalodon. Even if Predator X was slightly smarter than the lesser creatures it shared the ocean with during its time, its smarts would not have prepared it for a battle with the Megalodon. It should be noted again that the Megalodon often preyed upon other hulking sea creatures such as whales in order to devour them as a meal, meaning that the Megalodon regularly hunted and subdued creatures of great mass. Since Predator X often relegated itself to preying upon fish and squids in shallow waters, it was not as used to fighting massive oceanic creatures as much as the Megalodon was, meaning that it would likely find itself unprepared to handle a predator of Megalodon size. But, of course, this is speculation based on each creature's respective size and weight. But who do you think would have won the battle? Share your opinion through the survey in the info box. If these two hulking predators were to have clashed, it certainly would have rocked the ocean's world. So, let me know who you think would have been victorious. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and comment.